Hi everybody, I'm just popping on today as I feel that I have the platform in this industry just to spread some awareness in regards to the non-surgical um, buttocks or bum fillers as opposed to having a surgical intervention known as um, BBL or fat transfer to the buttocks. And by all means, I'm not encouraging surgery at this point, it's just more to spread awareness as to some safety concerns that you know we in this industry have kind of Learn to. So one thing that you may not be aware of, um, statistically people keep thinking, oh, BBL is banned in the UK. It's actually now BAPRAS approved. And one of the reasons as to why this is, is because our GMC specialist surgeons who specialize in BBL in the UK um, will perform it with an ultrasound. Basically, you can see exactly where you're injecting the fats and this will be on top of the muscle, not into the muscle. So it does obviously decrease the risks that are involved where you can see exactly where the fat is being um, injected superficially. Whereby if you're going into you know, a non-surgical aesthetics clinic, would the practitioner actually know where they're inserting the fat to? I mean, I don't think so. Um, it's just kind of where they kind of see and look and feel. So with fillers, it's obviously a foreign object going into your body. And to be fair, they haven't been around that long or this treatment hasn't been done that long to have any scientific proven that it is safe. When you're injecting your own fat, it is your own fat cells that's being transferred from one part of your body to another, obviously with um, a cleaning intervention as well. So we definitely feel it's safer as it's your own body part being re-injected into the body. I also know there's a, like lots of speculation in regards to getting this treatment done abroad and there has kind of been like higher risks and fatalities, but rest assured you, you know, other countries are not technically regulated where all of our surgeons here in the UK that would perform this treatment would be GMC specialist surgeons. The cost obviously plays a huge factor when deciding to go for any kind of treatments, but I have actually done some research and looked around in terms of cost and they are similar for the surgical versus non-surgical. And as I've mentioned before, you know, the longevity, the safety aspect of it to me, you know, um, the cost is the also final factor, which would encourage me to go for the surgical intervention. Of course, everyone gets scared of undergoing a general anesthetic, um, which is probably the main factor what would encourage people to use a non-surgical intervention. And of course there is risks involved. I'm not saying there isn't, but we do use a much more modernized technique um, of anesthesia called TIVA, and it is controlled and you are breathing by yourself. And a lot of our patients don't feel as sick or as groggy and have a, you know, a positive recovery and they are able to go home kind of the same day with just a day case procedure. With the industry that I'm in, I obviously turn to social media for all different kind of updates and things like that and what's new, what's happening. And I have seen some serious complications um, arise from the non-surgical um, Botox filler. Um, a lady from Dubai um, who I used to know, she had, had to undergo five and a half hour surgery just to retract the filler. Um, and it was actually life threatening and she's doing safe and well now, but yeah, she's, she's documented it all and she's really trying to encourage people to do more research before undergoing the treatment of the sort.